In this video, we will visit a very unique place in Kyrgyzstan, a country in Central Asia. It's a beautiful mountain lake Songkul, where we will immerse into nomadic life. Let's go! We started our journey in Bishkek, the capital of Kyrgyzstan. I went on this trip with my couchsurfing friends. Songkul Lake is situated in the Narin province of Kyrgyzstan, approximately 300 kilometers to the west of Bishkek. It is nestled in the Chan Chan mountain range at an altitude of 3,016 meters above sea level. We took a minibus from Bishkek to Kochkor village. It took us four hours to get there. On the way, we stopped to buy some fruits. It was in August, the fruit season. The landscapes we were passing were very nice, with towering hills around. We also stopped at some road cafe for lunch. I wasn't really hungry, but I got some soup as I didn't know when we are going to have food next. We arrived at Kochkor village at around 4 pm. From there we had to take a taxi to Sonkul Lake, because there is no public transport going there. The road leading to the lake is rugged and unpaved, a true off-road adventure. The car that was taking us to the lake was very old and shabby, and along the way it stalled three times, requiring the driver's mechanical expertise to keep us moving forward. Though the guys were laughing that his car just wanted to drink. The road there is very bad and quite tiring, but it offers stunning views of the surrounding landscapes. It took us two more hours to get from the Kochkor village to our final destination. Due to its high altitude, Songkul Lake experiences a relatively short summer season, typically from June to September. The rest of the year it is covered in snow and inaccessible by road. Songkul Lake is quite large, covering an area of about 270 square kilometers. It is one of the largest alpine lakes in Kyrgyzstan. The area around the lake is home to semi-nomadic Kyrgyz herders who live there in yurts, traditional nomadic tents, and bring their livestock to the high-altitude pastures during the summer months. Visitors of the lake can experience traditional Kyrgyz nomadic culture and stay in yurts offered by local herders. So we stayed in a traditional Kyrgyz yurt too. We agreed to pay for one night 1,000 Kyrgyzstani songs per person, which is $11.5, dinner and breakfast included. Usually people come to the lake with organized tours and they are quite expensive. But as we came ourselves and we shared the cost of the taxi between the four of us, we spent twice less money than the tour price. There are also hiking tours to the lake, but it takes three days to hike there through the mountains from the closest village. Songkul Lake is renowned for its natural beauty. 
It is surrounded by rolling meadows, alpine pastures and panoramic views of Tanshan Mountains, making it a paradise for nature lovers, photographers and hikers. Visiting the lake is a chance to disconnect from the modern world. There is no cell phone connection and electricity there. So it's an opportunity to enjoy peace and embrace a simpler, more nature-centric way of life. It's interesting that you cannot find any trees around the lake, not a single one. They just do not grow at this altitude. It was very nice to walk along the lake and breathe in the fresh air. One of the most popular activities at Songkul Lake is horseback riding. Visitors can rent horses from local herders and explore the vast landscapes around the lake. There were some other tourists there too, as we came at the weekend. Our landlady prepared a very nice dinner. We had borscht, which is traditional Russian red soup, and plov with tea and many sweet things. The weather on the lake was quite warm but fresh during the day, but as the sun went down it became freezing cold, and at night the temperature reached 9 degrees Celsius. And that's in summer! It was very cold at night, so we slept in our warm clothes, not showing our noses from the thick blankets. We woke up the next morning to a beautiful sunshine. It was interesting to see this simple rural life without amenities and comfort. It must be hard to live like this the whole summer, there is no even normal shower there. After having a very nice breakfast, rice porridge and fried eggs, we decided to do some hiking to enjoy the beautiful landscapes. Our Indian friend decided to have a walk along the lake, and the three of us went towards the mountains. They seemed to be quite close, but as you walk towards them, it's like they are moving away from you. You don't really seem to come closer. It's interesting that I met my companions for this trip just a day before on a couchsurfing meeting. Two of the guys, one from India and one from Mexico, said that they were going to visit this lake and me, with an Egyptian guy, spontaneously decided to join them. So here we were, enjoying this peaceful natural place and having very interesting conversations. It's so amazing how couchsurfing can unite people from different parts of the world and suddenly you have great travel companions and just nice people around you. Unfortunately, we had limited time, we needed to leave the lake in the early afternoon. We agreed that the landlady will find us a taxi to the closest village for 1 pm. So we couldn't climb up the mountains, but we came quite close, enjoying the green hills and meadows. The fields were full of cattle, freely grazing on this vast territory. The weather there can change in a glimpse of time. Suddenly the sky darkened, heavy clouds rolled in and the rain started drizzling, making us feel really cold. It's good I was carrying warm clothes in my backpack. When we came back, the landlady told us that her relatives will go to the village and they can take us there a little cheaper than the taxi, but the guys will have to go in a closed container. We didn't really have another option, as to find a car at the lake would be really hard. I was lucky, as there was space for one person in front, and the guys had to ride at the back.
It was a really good adventure that let us enjoy the untouched nature of the beautiful lake, relax, feel the real life close to nature, and still it made us appreciate the comfort of life that the civilization provides us with. Thank you for watching this video, subscribe to this channel for more adventures and videos about budget traveling and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye!